Apple's recruiting guru moves on. Shord Gehring, a big name in the world of recruiting, has left Apple. He was the tech giant's top recruiter for eight years. Now, he's taking his talents to Citadel, a powerful investment firm. This move has everyone talking. What does it mean for Apple? Gehring's departure is significant, given his role in shaping the company's workforce strategy. What does it say about Citadel's ambitions? Clearly, they are aiming to bolster their talent acquisition capabilities. Gehring was more than just a recruiter. He was a visionary in the field, known for his innovative approaches to finding and retaining top talent. He was a key player in shaping Apple's workforce, ensuring the company stayed ahead in the competitive tech industry. He was known for finding the best and brightest minds, often going beyond traditional recruiting methods to discover hidden gems. His departure raises questions about Apple's future direction. Will they be able to maintain their edge in attracting top talent without him? Is this a sign of bigger changes to come? Some analysts believe it could indicate a shift in Apple's internal strategies. This move is a big deal in the tech and finance worlds. It underscores the fluid nature of top-tier talent in these industries. It shows how competitive the job market is for top talent. Companies are willing to go to great lengths to secure the best people. It also highlights the growing importance of recruiting in today's business world. The right talent can make or break a company's success. What do you think about Gehring's move? Will it set a new trend in the industry? Share your thoughts and join the conversation. As the business landscape continues to evolve, the role of top recruiters like Gehring becomes even more crucial. Their ability to identify and attract talent can significantly impact a company's trajectory. Gehring's move to Citadel could be seen as a strategic play by the investment firm to strengthen its position in the market. By bringing in someone with his expertise, Citadel is signalling its commitment to growth and innovation. Meanwhile, Apple will need to find a way to fill the void left by Gehring's departure. The company has always been known for its ability to attract top talent, but this will be a true test of its recruiting prowess. The tech industry is watching closely to see how both Apple and Citadel navigate this transition. Will Apple continue to thrive without its top recruiter? Will Citadel gain a competitive edge with Gehring on board? One thing is certain, the world of recruiting is more dynamic than ever. As companies vie for the best talent, the strategies and moves of top recruiters like Gehring will continue to shape the industry. Stay tuned as we follow this story and its implications for the tech and finance sectors. The ripple effects of Gehring's move are just beginning to be felt. What do you think about Gehring's move? Will it set a new trend in the industry? Share your thoughts and join the conversation. Gehring played a crucial role at Apple. He was responsible for finding the people who design your iPhones and MacBooks. He helped build a team of innovators. He was known for his strategic approach to recruiting. Under Gehring's leadership, Apple attracted top engineers, designers, and executives. He focused on finding people who fit Apple's unique culture. He looked for passion, creativity, and a drive to change the world. Gehring's work helped Apple stay ahead of the curve. He made sure Apple had the talent to keep innovating. His departure leaves big shoes to fill. How will Apple maintain its recruiting edge without Gehring? Gehring's exit comes at a pivotal moment for Apple. Amidst other significant changes at Apple, the company is undergoing a transformation that extends beyond just its HR department. The company has seen some reshuffling in its human resources department, which is crucial for its future growth and stability. Apple has been quiet about these changes, leaving many to wonder what the future holds. 
This lack of transparency has fueled speculation among employees and industry analysts alike. Some experts believe Apple is adjusting its approach to talent management and acquisition. The tech industry is evolving rapidly and companies like Apple must stay ahead of the curve. Apple needs to adapt to attract the next generation of skilled workers who bring fresh perspectives and innovative ideas. The changes at Apple's HR department could signal a new era for the company, one that embraces diversity and inclusion. It will be interesting to see how these changes play out in the long run and what impact they will have on Apple's overall strategy. They could impact not only Apple's products, but also its future success in the highly competitive tech market. Do you think Apple is doing enough to adapt to the changing job market? The company's ability to innovate and lead depends on its talent pool. As Apple continues to evolve, its HR strategies will play a crucial role in shaping the company's future. Investing in employee development and creating a positive work environment are key to retaining top talent. The winds of change at Apple's HR department are blowing strong, and only time will tell how these shifts will influence the company's trajectory. One thing is certain, the world will be watching closely as Apple navigates this period of transformation. Will these changes lead to greater innovation and success? Or will they pose new challenges for the tech giant? Only time will reveal the true impact of these HR changes on Apple's future. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this evolving story. Citadel is not your typical Wall Street firm. It's known for its aggressive hiring practices. They are always on the lookout for brilliant minds. Citadel is willing to pay top dollar to get the best people. So why did Citadel want Gehring? They are making major investments in technology. They want to become a leader in the tech space. Gehring's expertise in finding tech talent is invaluable to Citadel. His hiring is a clear sign of Citadel's ambition. They are serious about competing with Silicon Valley giants. What kind of impact do you think Gehring will have at Citadel? Section 5. A win-win or cause for concern. This move is a big win for Citadel. By bringing in a top-tier talent like Gehring, Citadel is positioning itself to make significant strides in its recruitment strategies and overall business growth. The expertise and experience that Gehring brings to the table are invaluable assets that can propel Citadel to new heights. They gained a recruiting superstar. Gehring's track record speaks for itself, having successfully led numerous high-profile recruitment campaigns. His ability to identify and attract top talent is unparalleled, making him a key player in Citadel's future success. Gehring now has the opportunity to build something new in a different industry. This move allows him to leverage his skills in a fresh environment, bringing innovative ideas and strategies to Citadel. But what about Apple? The tech giant now faces the challenge of filling the void left by Gehring's departure. Losing Gehring is a blow. His departure leaves a significant gap in Apple's recruitment team, one that will be hard to fill. Gehring was instrumental in shaping Apple's talent acquisition strategies, and his absence will undoubtedly be felt. They need to find a replacement quickly. The pressure is on for Apple's HR team to identify and onboard a new leader who can continue Gehring's legacy of excellence. The search for a suitable candidate will be rigorous and time-sensitive. They need someone who can maintain their high standards of recruiting. Apple's reputation for attracting top talent is at stake, and finding a replacement who can uphold these standards is crucial for the company's continued success. Some see this as a sign of Apple's declining influence. The departure of a key figure like Gehring could be interpreted as a weakening of Apple's stronghold in the tech industry. It raises questions about the company's ability to retain top talent and maintain its competitive edge. Others believe Apple will remain a magnet for talent. Despite this setback, many are confident that Apple's brand and innovative culture will continue to attract the best and brightest in the industry.
The company's legacy and ongoing projects are strong incentives for top professionals to join and stay with Apple. Only time will tell what the true impact of Gehring's departure will be. The coming months will be critical in determining how Apple navigates this transition and whether Citadel can capitalize on their new acquisition. Do you think Apple will be able to recover from this loss? The tech world is watching closely and the outcome will have significant implications for both companies. Share your thoughts on how this move will shape the future of Apple and Citadel. Section 6. The Ripple Effect of a Single Move Gehring's move has sent shockwaves through the tech and finance industries. It highlights the intense competition for talent. Companies are realizing that people are their most valuable asset. This move could lead to more high-profile poaching. We may see other top executives switching sides. The war for talent is heating up. Gehring's decision is a reminder that the business world is constantly evolving. Companies need to be adaptable and proactive to stay ahead. How do you think companies can attract and retain top talent in today's competitive job market? 